Rights groups say smaller airline seat space could put travelers at risk in an emergency evacuation. The FAA argued in federal appeals court that shrinking seat space in coach does not present a threat to health or safety. But the judges disagreed. They ordered the FAA to reevaluate its standards. Chris Van Cleve is at Reagan National Airport outside Washington. Chris, good morning. Well, good morning. The manufacturers that build airplanes have to certify that they can get everyone off a completely full airliner within 90 seconds, even with half of the exit blocked. That 90 second rule is based on the idea that's enough time to get people off before fire, smoke or water could turn an accident deadly. But evacuations don't always go smoothly. Last fall, this American 767 had to evacuate after an engine caught fire during takeoff in Chicago. On board, passengers pushed and shoved to get out. Some stopped to grab their luggage. It took 116 passengers and nine crew more than two minutes to get off. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Hector Cardenas was on that flight and captured the mayhem on his phone. Everyone's shoving and pushing against you uh, in such a way where um, you're pretty much uh, 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 almost squashed. Passenger safety advocates worry the ever shrinking airline seat is creating another potential danger during an evacuation. Just as the passengers themselves are getting bigger, the space between rows has shrunk from as much as 35 inches to 31, sometimes down to just 28. The biggest fear is that people won't be able to get out in time. In an emergency. Paul Hudson is president and, uh, of Flyers Rights, an advocacy group that sued to force the FAA to regulate seat size. They claim that they have no jurisdiction over comfort. So, But isn't it safety? Well, they, they view safety very narrowly. A federal court agreed there was the possibility of plausible life or death issues. The FAA says it is reviewing the ruling. It's a true safety problem, and the FAA needs to protect us. Congressman Steve Cohen introduced legislation to require the FAA to establish a minimum airline seat size. We don't have uh, seats and, and aisles that are capable of facilitating a safe exit. The group that represents U.S. Airlines says its members meet or exceed federal safety standards and airlines do train for evacuations. Boeing tells CBS this morning that it conducts its evacuation tests in full accordance with all federal regulations, but that's typically done in a hangar and it doesn't factor in passenger behavior like grabbing bags. Gail? Yeah, that's a very good point, Chris. Let's hope that safety trumps that the FAA is paying attention. Mm -hmm. I thought he made a very compelling case. Thank you very much, Chris Van Cleve.